What's up everybody, Sizzdog here for Nostalgia Button. In today's video, we are looking at Boba Fett, the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy, my favorite. There's so many incarnations of Fett. I don't have, I probably haven't even scratched the surface of how many times this guy's been released, but let's see how many old mate Sizzdog has in his collection. What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chased the dream. I gotta intercept that package. All my wife will leave me, and I'll end up on the street. So, before we begin, we've got a little bit of housekeeping. Last week, I forgot about this R2-D2 in the kids' room, and I actually had an extra power of the Force <laughs> on card as well. So this is going to happen sometime. Well, We're going to forget stuff. You're not the and... only one. I forgot, too. I have this T-shirt, which is a mashup of The Wizard of Oz and Star Wars, and there's little R2-D2 as the Tin Man with his heart. So, that's a T. I love that shirt. Yeah, it's a T-Fury t-shirt. Are they still around? I'm not sure if that's still a no. thing, but that was yeah. a very cool We loved thing. getting our t-shirts off T-Fury for a while there. Yes, we did. All right, let's get stuck into the, today's vid. So to the most enigmatic, well, until recently, one mm. of the most enigmatic characters of the Star Wars universe. What does enigmatic mean? Mysterious. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Up until recently, he was definitely the most uh, mysterious yeah. character. Mr. Favreau has explored his character a bit further for us all. So He has. And yeah. so now our imaginations, um, all, all these things of what we thought would ha has happened to Boba Fett have become a reality. And whether or not it matched up to our expectations or not, it doesn't really matter because we've got to see Boba Fett again, Let's which get is more great. Fed. More Fett is, is good for everybody. Okay. So I think I've placed these in release order. So I don't actually have a, a mint on card 1980 Boba Fett because, you know, I, I have house repayments. But this is <laughs> 1995 Power of the Force. Now, interesting thing about this um, release is the picture here on the actual figure is a production photo and he's wearing those brown gloves. And it's also the production photo on the back of the card as well. So the toy makers actually use that production photo for the toy and Fett is wearing brown gloves on the actual figure, which he never wore in the, in the movies at all. This is a production photo that they used for the, for the toys and for some reason, they never bothered telling the toy makers, hey, so that's not screen accurate, guys. No, well... It's production photo accurate. <laughs> yeah, but he never, he never wore those gloves on the screen. So that's something for the super nerds out there. Um, okay, and then he was released again. This time Ooh, for the power of the force. Yes. That the, one's all holographic. Indeed. This is 1997. I'm getting my time frames right this, this week, guys. Um, and this one's got a great story. I actually bought this one in Europe. For $15, oh. and I've, I've tracked it all the way home from Europe because it's got that 15 euro sticker still on it. So you obviously didn't buy it in 1997 then? No. Is that the one we bought in France? Yes. When we went into the, um, we found this comic book store. Yeah. And, and they had just the fair. Like, well, and we buy bought him. all these mugs too. We bought a bunch of mugs? We bought a bunch of mugs. And wow. um, the guy was really sweet because, you know, when we were only in Paris for two and a half days. And we don't speak French. Well, um, we tried our we were, best, though. But, yeah, we tried. So we were those kind of tourists that couldn't speak French, but we were like, oh, parlez-vous anglais? And when you try, they appreciate it, and, and, and they're nice well, to you. Well, he was really, he was really um, interesting because he said, where are you from? And we said, we're from Australia. And he's like, yeah, I speak English. Hey! <laughs> so Aussies represent. I think maybe depending France. on where we said we were from would depend on whether or not he actually spoke English. Uh, yeah. But he was very nice to us. That's it. And that's where I got that figure. And in your France. R2-D2 mug. I'm pretty sure that's where that came from too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. You've got a Boba Fett mug too, don't you? I do. I will splice that in because it is in this. It, it is in the house. You've I got to bring so it over. much you forgot. I forgot one of the things. Um, okay, so this is the 300th figure. Um, it's 
from Hasbro though, and they didn't have the license the whole time, so I'm not sure, but maybe it's just the, when they took over the license, they took over the amount of figures yeah. released. And I thought, oh, this is gonna be worth so much money in the future, and it's not. But it's still a really cool figure. I bought this back in 2000 when I was 20 years old. I, I definitely remember that. So none of your Boba Fetts are like those crazy half a million dollar Boba Fetts? No, they are not no. half a million dollars. No, they're not. But Aren't some of them, worth some of them that much? are worth a lot. I mean, this one I haven't looked up the current value of this, but this is it's from. It's like not even like mint on card. It's mint on card in a protective cover. It's it's double protected. This one. Yeah. But this is actually how it came. So I didn't bother oh. buying this case. So okay. this is from two thousand and four, from when Australia actually had Toys R Us. Okay. And this is before the vintage collection. They called it the originally original trilogy collection. And so it's made up to look like the original figure, but you can tell it's a new style figure inside the card. So that's kept mint on card as well. This one is a Galactic Heroes um, Boba Fett with Dengar. Do you think when the, the Bounty Hunter? Do you think when the toy makers were making these, they were like we're making these for old people to collect or we're making these for children to play with. So toy companies now are a little bit more privy that collectors want to collect. collect. And so they've got like two kind of hats on when they're built, making a toy. Yeah. They're like, okay, so this is definitely one for the collector's market and this mm -hmm. one's just for kids. This mm -hmm. one's clearly one for kids. Yeah. And you've got another IG-88. I don't own that. Oh. It's just on the back of the oh, car. Oh, I thought they were all of them in the one thing. No, it's just Dengar. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you could have got another IG-88, but you don't. No, I actually do have two, though. There's another bit of follow-up from one. last week. <laughs> you do have more than it's one. It's the same figure. So it must have been in a bundle or something, oh, but anyway. Oh, okay. just, I just came up with it by accident. Moving on, 2006, we have Boba Fett. Uh, looks like he's facing off against the Sarlacc in the background. Um, just a, a, a cool figure from back then. So, I haven't mentioned this, but with my Star Wars collecting, I have a rule... Um, which I've broken many times, but I try to stick with it. When I see a Boba Fett in a toy store or in a department store, I buy it. Or if I see a Stormtrooper, I buy it. And if there's a Vader or an Artur or a Luke or a Han, I'm like, I'm on the fence about it. Yeah. But if it's if it's a Stormtrooper or a Boba Fett, yeah. I instantly, it's an insta-buy for me. So that's yeah. why I've got such a big collection of Boba Fett's and Stormtroopers, which I'm, will be in a future video. I'm like that with some of my authors, though. Like, some of them, they write so many books that I get to the point where I'm like, I'm, I'm not buying any more of their books, but I have a handful of authors that whenever they write a new book, I buy it. It's an insta-buy. It's an insta-buy. Because you've got that previous, like, knowledge yeah, that they I know, I, I just know I will love it. Yeah. yeah. And which is one of those authors? Cherie Sinclair. Oh, Cherie is. Yeah. Yeah. They're saucy books that she reads. <laughs> <laughs> for a future episode of Nostalgia Button. Um, this is a really groovy one. So this is Boba Fett, his first appearance um, on screen from the Star Wars Holiday Special. Um, he's wearing his blue um, gimmick. And uh, yeah, this is just like a, a version of him um, from 2007, I bought this. So again, I, I found this at the store. I'm like, this is a Boba Fett, I have to buy it. Because Boba Fett, he's, he's got a very short amount of screen time. Yes! And his armour is different from Empire to Jedi. Or is it the Very, same? very different. Okay, yeah. so his armour is different from him. Mm -hmm. But he's only got a very short scene, a couple of short scenes in Empire. Yeah. And he's only at the very start of... Um, of Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yep, and then that's start. it. So they've, they've really stretched this. Like, they've made so many figures of this character that... Because he's beloved. People love Boba Fett. No, I'm not saying that they don't love him, but I'm no. just saying they keep figuring out ways of this character who was maybe on screen for 15 minute max mm -hmm. to keep reinventing him, to keep making more toys for more crazy old men to buy. Old? <laughs> hey, there's a bit of grey in the beard. See, a bit of salt and pepper. So, oh, that's good. 2010 now. Uh, we're looking at The Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett specific. So, yes, as you were saying, there's different co different costumes for the two different movies. Originally, this was released in 1980 to 1982, but again, this is the Vintage Collection. So this is when they first started that branding, the Vintage Collection, I believe. Um, so there you go. To actually own that actual figure on card, forget about it. Forget about it. Not in my lifetime, baby. Is it baby. even available? Does anyone even have it? 
I mean, I mean there's, there, there's plenty of them out there. How often they come on sale and, and how expensive they are, that's any, any person's guess, but there you go. Um, here's a double pack, which will feature in my Stormtrooper, vi our Stormtrooper video. Um, this, can you imagine my delight when I saw my two favorites, my rule of collecting in one pack? I was like, oh my God, world colliding, a Stormtrooper and a Boba Fett in the one package. It makes sense though, they're on the same team, yeah? From 2014, yes. Well, kind of. I mean, Boba Fett just goes to the highest bidder. He's a bounty hunter. He'll, he'll just work through whoever pays him. He's not necessarily on the side of the Empire. I never really thought of it like that. That's true, yeah. I mean, if a good so, guy asks him to get a bad guy, I guess as long as the coin is right, Fett will be like, let's do it. Well, it, that's the whole point of a bounty hunter, isn't it? That's true. Now, this is an interesting one. This is uh, for a video game. I found this while I was on tour, um, uh, touring in a band, and I went into a, a video game store, and they had a Fett figure. And I believe it was for, yeah, Disney's Infinity play without limits and so if I open this up and put it like on the game thing or whatever you could play as Boba Fett in the video game um, but I didn't have that video game but I do have the action figure so there you go so Here's some poor one. little kid who wanted to play as Boba Fett his mummy went to the toy store and she's like I'm sorry honey they sold out of Boba Fett you can't be him in your video game that you're actually going to use the product for its intended purpose yeah no no because some Boba Fett some Boba freak Fett, fan yeah. stole your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Black Series Boba Fett. Originally, it was released in 2013 on that carding, but that never really saw a release in Australia, or if it did, I never saw it. But I was lucky enough to get this version from a 2018, and so I had to get two of this. So let's just oh. look at the unboxed version right now. So there's my... Unbox version, and I've got to keep one mint on card. So we can play with this one. We can play with this one, exactly. We can little, pose him. Does his gun come out? His gun comes out. Pew, pew, pew. pew wow. Pew, his pew, pew, his pew. gun does come out. Can you pop that back? <laughs> Don't want that getting lost. Oh no. You can't lose some of it. <laughs> well, then, then it, it wouldn't be, be complete. <laughs> then it won't be a set complete. Okay, the next one is something that you gave me, Danielle, in 2019, a Hallmark um, <laughs> Boba Fett. Christmas ornament. Yes, this one's really fun. And this one actually makes noises. And we actually gave one of these to my brother as well, didn't we? I believe so. You ready? As you wish. Oh, uh, yeah. He's no good to me, dead. Yeah, from New Zealand. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth with a lot to me. me. Lots of fish and chips with my bounty <laughs> hunting. <laughs> Put, Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. So, interesting story about that. Um bit of dialogue obviously that is the um remake where they replaced uh they Jeremy obviously... Bullock's voice with Tamira Morrison's voice um however uh put Captain Solo in the cargo hold okay that classic line that he says on Empire Strikes in Empire Strikes Back when um he's placing Han in Carbonite into Slave One apparently Jeremy Bullock kept getting that l line wrong and they had to keep getting it getting him to say because he kept saying put captain cargo in the solo hold and i know that story from the magic of myth tour um that we went on in the states uh where you put your headphones on and you, you look at the different uh star wars prop used uh, film used props this um thing you went on you did you do that with me or is that the thing when it was up in sydney and you wore the headphones no, so that was with my mum. Oh, okay. So um, I didn't know you then. In the States. Yeah, that's how long I've known that story. There you go. Okay, so this one here is from 2020. And He's letting me play with his Boba Fett toy. He hasn't taken it off. Can you please stop that? <laughs> You're freaking me out, man. I'm just playing with him. He's All a right. toy. Okay, just get him out of the shot. Okay, this is the one that we're talking about now. <laughs> so we've got our carbonized gimmick that they did again it's a fet i had to buy it i'm sorry all right i did the same thing for the stormtrooper this year as well but cool thing is our friend rosie bought me one too <gasps> look so i got to take him out and there's there's the two things right there twins. They're, they're twins. i love it let's keep moving here maybe they're doppelgangers from different different dimensions i will kill you. no i'm the evil one i'm the evil one 
Maybe. <laughs> I can't bash them together. You'll get angry at me. No, you cannot bash them together. I will get angry at you. Who oh. bought me this one, babe? Oh, I did. You did, didn't you? So this is... This is brand new. What this is is actually gave it to you for your birthday three weeks ago. Yes, so this is from it's the book a, of Boba Fett. It's a Funko Pop. It's Boba a mini pop. Fett, um, mini pop key ring. Here we go. So you can use it if you like, and then it can join your broken R2-D2 key ring, or you can leave it in the box. I'll it's it yours. Box. You can do whatever you want with it. I do. You I can do. use it. You can not use it. You can try and sell it. You can lose it. And then I can say, hey, where's your um, Boba Fett key ring? You can be like, oh, I don't know. I lost it. And I'll be like, well, it was yours. You can do whatever you want with it. That's a pretty great story. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it rolling back. We don't want it. We don't want to leave the, the people waiting. Okay, so we've got two um, special mentions in the boxed figure category. We have the uh, Bespin, um, Betrayal on Bespin pack, um, where uh, Han and Chewie and Leia are being betrayed by Lando Calrissian. And there's our galactic hero right there, or anti-hero, Boba Fett. That's the pack there. And also, this one here, the Star Tours exclusive. There's Fett there. There he is. Um, you got that in a Disney park? Yep. $39.95 from oh, Disney Paris. Parks. In, no? No. This Star Tours would have been in... This was in 2011. Um, so that would be in Disneyland or Disney World? I think Disney World. We would have bought One this home. One of the two. Yeah. I mean, they would have been available in both. So there you go. All right, let's have a look at the loose figures now. So we'll go from the tiniest to the biggest. So here's another Star Wars Christmas ornament. This is an actual Christmas ornament though, not a not a keychain, key not like these bad boys. These are the keychains. I have two of these because why not? And so these get displayed, not both of them obviously, but um, at least one of these gets displayed every year at Christmas time. We have the Power of the Force unboxed figure, which um, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier but there he is there are um, we allowed to play with the unboxed ones or they're just to look good out of the box some of no not really no they're not to be played with <laughs> the, yes i know they're toys but these are special to me so i don't want them to be played with now this one here <laughs> um i'm not sure when he's from but it kind of looks like a chess piece but i don't have the rest of them um but yeah He's cool. A little Boba Fett statue. Yep. Um, ah! Pe Boba Fett Pez dispenser. How good's that? I've got a Stormtrooper and a Fett. Uh, sorry, a, a Stormtrooper, Empire, an Emperor, and a Darth Vader as, as well. Um, Lucasfilm good. Limited. Um, we also Very have... Stuff. These are my oldest Boba Fetts. So I've got two. This one here is the one I had when I was a kid. I know that because I've still got the blue tack on the bottom for when I stand him up in my display. <laughs> and um, this is one that I bought um, at some other point. So these ones are from the 80s? So these are from 1980, yeah. Um, from the original release. Um, obviously not on card, completely beat up. Um, you can see this one's got a bit more of the green on his armour and this one is a little bit more played with. Um, however... Uh, this was the first, this is what started it all. This is the toy that started it all for everybody out there um, viewing this video. Okay, so this one, um, I'll have to do my research and you'll see when we post this video. Because oh, I don't remember. He's quite statuesque, isn't he? Yeah, so he is a statue. So this is definitely not a, a toy. I, might, I don't think it's a hot toy. It might be a sideshow collectibles um, Boba Fett. But he's so cool. Look at him. Highly detailed. He actually has little magnets on his feet, oh, and this is a magnetic that's why he's base. Toppling over, yeah. is that clever? Yeah, this is a 2011, so um, at least I know the time frame. I'm pretty sure it is a sideshow collectible. More, Boba more Fett. Um, things should do that then, because how many times do you stand all your toys up in your cabinet and like they, they get a tiny little bump and they all go? Bleh. Oh, all the time. Whereas if they're all on like little magnets, it would pro it'd solve it. everybody's problems, exactly. wouldn't it? Exactly. Absolutely. So there he is there. Um, okay, so this one I've, I wanted for years. This one was out for years. I couldn't get it. Um, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, what a perfect holiday piece to bring out when it's Christmas time at your house. Um, and here he is, Boba Fett with Christmas. Um, it's got these great things like two Jabba. 
on the tag. So he's wrapped up Han in carbonite yeah. um, to give to Java. It's from 2010. Um, it even says on it, not a toy <laughs> for anyone it's who thought this was a display. And, and so, this one's to someone else. Yeah, that one's to Bosk, one this... of the other bounty hunters. He's going to give him a weapon nice. for Christmas for Bosk. And look, his, <laughs> his blaster is a candy cane. And he's in the snow and it's festive. It's just, it's just such it's a cool fun. piece. I it's love that piece. If someone had to, you know what, this, I'm going to hit my nostalgia button right now. Bang. And I'm going to call it, this is my most nostalgic piece of Boba Fett. Because I remember wanting it for so long. And when and I finally had, had it. you had to buy it and send it out to us even, didn't what's we? That? You had to get Vinny to buy it and send it out to us, didn't we? I Couldn't don't remember. I don't think we could even get it over here. Most likely. But yeah, this is definitely my favourite. It even has like a little thermal detonator by his, by his feet there. Um, it's just the coolest. There you go. So, um, my nostalgia button has been hit very hard with that one. As is this one. So, this one here is a Hungry Jack's um, uh, watch, a digital watch. I remember wearing this. You did. You used to wear it all the time. All the time. That's why it's so well worn. I've got a bit of sticky tape it there. Broke. It the broke. The only reason you stopped wearing it is because it broke. It broke. The batteries probably died. Um, but, man, I love this watch. And it's it such came a cool in this, piece. did it? came in that piece. And the reason it's got... Han on the back is because it's reversible and you could wear it as Han instead if you wanted. Um, we've got a whole bunch of these. And Vinny, Vinny and I would, um, would would get these a lot and we'd, we'd really enjoy them. All right, let's go now with our miscellaneous. Um, there's more? There's definitely more. So let's go down here now. Um, we have this soft toy, Boba Fett. Um, again, not sure when this one's from, but it's a big oversized plush. Boba Fett. We also have a. This one's from Woolworths. Yeah, this one's from Woolworths. Um, very strange, but we actually used to um, use these as what do you call them when they're in the cot? Oh, on the mobile. Yeah, on the mobile. That's we easy. we added these to the twins' mobile. They had all the different Star Wars characters on their mobile. Wow, a really old piece in my collection. I have this one, and I also have. Um, Yoda and Darth Vader. These are from 1994. Um, so these are very, very old. They're clearly uh, kids' party masks. Um, oh, and they're just from... Is it already like that? I didn't do that. No, 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 yeah. Okay. It's, damn, it's been damaged. Yeah, it's got a little bit of wear and tear. I've got a Stormtrooper as well. So that one will feature in the Stormtrooper video. Um, but yeah, very delicate, but um, very, very cool. Um, great little kitschy little item. What else? Hey! <laughs> this is my Boba Fett pillow, which Danielle uses to nurse um, little Sophie at the moment. This is your back support, it isn't is it? It is my back support. Perfect, you pop that back there and you're ready to nurse your baby. <laughs> oh, that's exactly how I do it. I nurse the baby, baby, baby nursing. Um, so yeah, there's our Boba Fett pillow as well. Um, let's get to the Anyone needing tips, that's not, that's not how you nurse a baby. No, that's, that's how you cradle them to sleep, and this is how you nurse them. <laughs> no, you don't do that. You cradle, the baby just does you not work. Boom, 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 boom. They, just, they just jump on them. Well, they don't just jump on themselves. They don't jump on themselves. There but you go. You just, you, just you, hold, don't need a they, you don't need to move them. Yeah. Is, they, this a, is this a baby vlog or a Boba Fett vlog? Let's no, you never hijacking. know. We could, we could hijack our hijack way into it? that mummy, mummy, mummy vlog. vlog. Mummy YouTube world? What is the... <laughs> no, we're DX now. <laughs> we're Do DXing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, dented helmet. If you're looking to create your own Boba Fett costume, which I am hoping to complete one day, one day. Um, the dented helmet is the forum to go to to make that dream a reality. What have you got there, Danielle? Uh, this is my this is my Boba Fett. Well, you bought it for me. So I about again, this. Such last a cool week, piece. how we were talking about the black milk clothing. So they also released a Boba Fett dress. So cool. Um, it's a just like a little mini mini dress. I probably wouldn't wear it anymore. Why not? Um, just because you know I'm not 25. But um, I remember what wearing this with in the Caribbean. You should wear it again. A lot in the Caribbean. I loved it. It was good fun. Um, yeah. 
cool, man. There you go. And here's another Boba Fett t-shirt. I actually found this one at the op shop. Um, very cool. There is the Fett as well. Couple more miscellaneous mis 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 items to go through. Um, there's more? There's more. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Here is a road case. I'm a musician. I go on the road um, to play shows. And in here, I actually got a road case built. Oh my God for these items. Let's see if we can do a bit of a Pulp Fiction reveal here. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it in post. Vincent, we happy? Yeah, we happy. <laughs> so let's open it up and do the reveal. You actually have this case made. This is a custom case. I'm gonna do it to the front camera. Hopefully it won't fall out. But there, there is the FET and there is the Stormtrooper. I will intersplice here some footage of these adorning my uh, amp, my JCM 800. I would take this on the road and I would put these on top of my amp at every show. So I would take this on the road with me um, and at all my shows I would have a Boba to, Fett. How much did that cost you to make? Uh, a couple of hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks. But um, well worth it because those pieces are very, very important to me. Okay, so... Um, as I mentioned, I, I used to play in this band called The Pass Outs. We, will, we, we do shows occasionally every now and then, but because I'm such a massive fan of Boba Fett, I wanted him included in the artwork for the band. So there we go there. There is Boba Fett um, in, the, in the top corner there. Um, there's him featured as well. Ma unmasked Frankie as the bass player. Um, Boba Fett, Sis Dog in my Stormtrooper costume. And uh, Frank Capitacasa there on the drums. As Vader. As Vader. And there it is there on the vinyl edition as well. All available at the Pass Outs Bandcamp, um, which I will put in this description. Shameless promotion. Yeah, well, you got to get it in somehow. Hey, listen, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this week's video oh, on Nostalgia Button. Yes. What's your favourite Boba Fett moment? Oh, thanks for reminding me. My favourite Boba Fett moment would have to be when Boba Fett is first revealed to us. Um... Uh, actually, no, not his very first moment. When it kind of links into my one of my favourite Millennium Falcon moments, um, when he, he he's tracking the Falcon and he, he's, he's kind of he puts he puts his visor down, he's looking, he's in the Slave One, and then he kind of he kind of follows the Falcon. Okay, he's like, oh, this guy's on top of it. The stupid Empire's just left, and and all the other bounty hunters are like, oh, where's the Falcon? And he's like, I know where the Falcon is. They're going that way. <laughs> I'm the Fett, I'm the man. That's my favourite Boba yeah. Fett moment. What's yours? Well, my favourite Boba Fett moment isn't actually from one of the Star Wars movies. Oh. It's from an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> In season six. You need when... me? Yeah, I do. Yes. In season six, when um, the three guys who they went to high school with are causing nuisance for Buffy and Spike's trying to get some information out of them. And he goes to their lair. And um, he's like, you're going to tell me what I want to know or Mr... Fett here gets it. <laughs> <laughs> and he threatens to ruin and break their, um, like, original Boba Fett toy. Yeah. And that's one of my favourite Boba Fett moments. Absolutely. That's really, really great. Um... Well, yeah, if I, if, if I knew the category could extend to outside of the canon of the video movies, then yeah, that would have been one of my favourites too. But it's definitely a great moment. Well done. Good, good call. Thanks for tuning in this week on Nostalgia Button. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. There's really nothing left to do other than drink out of my coffee mug. That's in the kitchen. That's in the kitchen. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Nostalgia Button. Let's hit it hard. Oh. Bang. 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 I'm gonna get a button. It'll, I'll find a button. It's all right. Peace. <laughs>